a story we're following and of course we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on live now from Fox as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. Of course we're learning more information. I do want to take you back out here before we get out to our Fox 11 team in their coverage because some of this video is very dramatic and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on live and now from Fox. Of course breaking news Please. of this uh, as you can see potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate this on a street uh, near the Beverly Hills area of course we're following it very closely on live now from Fox and of course we we're watching this we didn't know exactly what we were seeing at the time so this is just a little bit ago as they you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well the long guns and a multitude of people as you'll see they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using to get inside this home and of course the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer you can see them checking inside of a vehicle we don't know exactly what is involved if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue to cover this. And our Fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak. Let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of Los Angeles and then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated, but it's definitely gonna be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. When you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this in a neighborhood like this as well, this is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this. So yes, this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this, as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being, because Haley, you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done. And there you have the shot from Sky Fox. Again, these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars you are already you see a Porsche, a G-Wagon, so many luxury cars right there on that property. So it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there uh, of what you're seeing. But look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place. Again, we don't know what exactly they're looking for, who they're looking for. But again, this could possibly be linked to a sex trafficking investigation involving rapper Sean Combs, the music executive. But as you heard from Haley right there, she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that Sean Combs is on that property at home right now. He may be in New York as this raid is being conducted. But we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not sure at this point. But again, Stu, if you could hear me, what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view? Well, again, we saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there is something inside this piece of property in the back, as one of the back houses, that they have been. 
very interested in getting at. We haven't seen them bring anything out. At one point, there's there, I, I can say, and when I keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out, the, the, we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin, but I don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed, but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary, and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you. This is that front area that you were just talking about moments ago. We watched as those Bearcats made their way up Mapleton to make the, to actually do this raid, and then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates over here on this side of the property. Once they had breached that, well, then they opened those gates up right there, and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in. They were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home. Uh, that garage door went up very quickly, and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside there. We've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then. It looks like there's a large table inside there, so that might have been an office area or some sort of staging area, and that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored... Um, uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out, so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be. And uh, you can see them just kind of making their way through that property. But I can tell you, every home that's on here, meaning there's three major homes. This one right here, there's a couple of officers still inside there. We know at least one officer is still inside here. So they're still standing guard. So whatever it is that they're doing... This isn't over by any means, and I think this is probably just getting underway. They just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure, and if there is anybody on this property, that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for. But again, as you mentioned, very well planned, very uh, quickly executed, and of course, a number of officers out here. I couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property. You can see them right there, and this is just a small group. That was also one of the things. As soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate, the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that Range Rover and then made their way into this portion of the home. And that's that garage that we've been talking about. That garage door went up very quickly. And at, of all the people that we've seen come out of the building, that's where they all came from. They walked them out, put them in this little corner right here, and that's where they've been questioning them ever since. Another ladder, as you were mentioning, a couple of ladders on site as part of this raid. I don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach, but uh, yeah, we did see somebody carrying a ladder, the second one on the property right now. It does seem like there are three different buildings on this property, the main mansion, and then two guest houses, for lack of better uh, knowledge in terms of what they are exactly used for, but yes, two smaller type houses on the lot as well. And of course, the pool right there in the middle with the grass uh, lawn. So clearly, uh, yeah, this is going to take time, and that is why probably there are so many personnel on site to go through everything and do the search that they are conducting. We, again, don't know a lot of information in terms of what evidence they're trying to collect, who they're looking for, or why they made the raid to begin with. But again, this could possibly be uh, involving the sex trafficking investigation. And uh, again, when we get more details, of course, we'll bring it to you. You, but uh, this is going to be a while. You see the Department of Homeland Security officers right there in that Bearcat. You know, this could be phase two of what to do now, what they're searching for, and making sure they have all their information they need when they conduct a raid like this and go through the process of going through that property. It is a big mansion indeed, owned by Bad Boy Films and one of Sean Combs's children. So again, uh, this happening just about 20 minutes ago at this point. We do have video from earlier, if we could show you that. And we have been showing some of that to you in a bigger box. Um, 
as a, a juxtaposed to the live pictures you're seeing right now. But uh, when they made entry, it was very methodical, and they did have many different law enforcement officials here as a unified operation, and uh, a lot of them making sure that those entry points are secure and they're able to make entry all together with uh, very, very little use of force. So um, clearly, it is a it is a process whenever you conduct a raid like this. So again, we do have Haley Winslow on the ground as well. She is push back to a certain perimeter though so they're very differing vantage points that we can see but if we do look at the ground shot there you see law enforcement on the ground there as well Haley uh, anything changing where you are you're at right now just a lot more people showing up on scene. It's been pretty hectic out here. Yeah, this all unfolded about 25 minutes ago, and I apologize that you couldn't hear me clearly earlier. It's very loud, especially we've got, of course, Sky Fox showing you all of this from overhead. But basically, it all started about 25 minutes ago, 30 or so law enforcement vehicles that were from the Department of Homeland Security, LASD, of course, LAPD assisting in this as well. And they pulled up to this home uh, that's registered to Bad Boy Films, part of that Boy Entertainment, one of uh, P. Diddy's companies, and uh, the home's also registered to one of his daughters, so they basically all got out of the three Bearcats, they went in, they were obviously armed, they pulled a few people out, as uh, Stu was telling you, up in Sky Fox, um, but we're hearing that P. Diddy may not even be here. We, of course, haven't seen him. Uh, we understand he may have flown on a private jet to New York, which I'm sure kind of threw off their plan, although this was very strategically organized, so I would assume by now, uh, whether he is in New York or not, that he is uh, likely in custody if he is involved in this. Um, but again, we are hearing that this is involving P. Diddy and sex trafficking charges. To what extent or with what details, we don't yet know. But of course, we will be on top of this all day. It's been, uh, it was pretty hectic when we all rolled in. We were kind of right behind the line of law enforcement vehicles uh, as this was all unfolding. And uh, we're since obviously behind this crime scene tape here in Holmby Hill. This is off Mapleton, Mapleton Drive here in the 200 block uh, where they are in front of this home uh, that involves P. Diddy. And we'll, of course, bring you the very latest as soon as we get it. it is, uh, it's a very active scene. You can see the officers actually right now. This is uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security coming out right now. They're actually walking down the street in uniform. If you see them right now, uh, Sandra. Uh, I marching do. down the road. Yes, from your vantage point, do you see them holding anything? Are they taking out any information? I can't really tell from where I am. Just the drone. Tony, can you see? Just just brought out their law enforcement drone. They look like they're putting that away now. Yeah. Okay. They have yeah, Tony, a Tony, our tools. photographer, he's zoomed in a little bit better, so he's got a little bit better view. But yeah, it looks like it's uh, their drone. Okay, and we are hearing from TMZ at this point that P. Diddy, Sean Combs, home in Miami is being raided as well. Again, TMZ reporting that his home in Miami is reportedly being raided right now as well. So clearly a link in all of this, but as uh, far as more information in terms of what they're looking for, why this raid is being conducted, still more uh, more questions and answers at this point. We're looking for answers uh, and more clarity. So we're hoping to get more of that.